Well, greetings, voyagers. Boy, it's been a while since I did a, a video on the inside of the van. And uh, here's the situation right now. Um, it's a mess. <laughs> you know, I never completely finished building out the van. I got it to a point where it was functional and usable and we could live within it. And then I stopped because at the time it was November. We were in Salem, Massachusetts. And the only place I had to work on the van was outside in a parking lot under the bridge between Beverly and Salem. And it was getting cold and some of the substances I was using like uh, stain, wood stain and polyurethane, those things don't work under 50 degrees. So I had to wrap it up. Winter was closing in and I had to wrap up the build, the interior build so we could get on the road. And now that we're back in an apartment, it's time to finish that build out and do it upright and, you know, fix some mistakes and make some improvements. And it's going to be a lot of work. So let me just give you a little rundown. This whole section here never got to push all the way up against the wall. Something was blocking it. And it stayed about an inch away from the wall. I wanted it to fit up nice and snug. I couldn't see what was blocking it, but I couldn't take any more time, so I just left it. Well, now I got the thing I'm starting to get it taken apart down here. And I can see now where it was bumping up against the insulation here, this shelf. And over here these edges they were bumping up against this insulation so so i'm gonna have to cut this out and um makes cut away enough to slide this right back up against the wall so that's one thing and then i gotta get this paneling i have to put that paneling that's it right there it never exactly fit too well and it looked kind of clunky so i'm gonna have to cut a new piece to fit behind here so I guess I'm going to have to take all these shelves out. Or at least maybe these bottom two. So I can get in there and work. And then you see this board right here that I have with hooks on it. I have to put, place another one of those boards. No hooks, but I have to cover. Oh, I, know, I never finished that. I don't know what to do about the roof. I mean, this is where things rubbed up against. This green is from the small propane bottles that we're rubbing up against. So this stuff is pretty well scuffed. I don't know if I'm going to be able to clean that off, just wash it off. I kind of doubt it. I don't know how detailed I'm going to get with this. Um, the ceiling definitely needs to be washed. Needs a good washing. And uh, I might I might do some paint. I don't know. I might paint over that. This is this is not fiberglass. This is vinyl. So I'm gonna need some kind of paint to cover the vinyl. So there's that. And then down here, that panel in the back there. This thing that never fit quite right either. It's time consuming to get these panels to fit right. And uh, I just plain ran out of time. So that panel is going to get replaced. Oh, look at how dirty and all scuffed up that is. That's ugly, man. Look at that. I got to do something about that. This stuff will clean off. That stuff will wash off. That's just tape. I can put uh, goo gone on that. And then get that out. Um, and then down here, <laughs> what a mess. Um, down here, I need to put in something under this countertop where I can put a dish pan, slide a dish pan underneath 
And I'm going to buy a new camp stove. I'm going to get the flat one. The single burner one. And I'm going to need to tuck that under this countertop somehow too. I don't know if I'm going to put a sliding drawer or what. Um, I'll have to figure that out later. So there's that. That has to be done. I also have to figure a way to... Um, I want to get my old, my Bowdens, I didn't show you, but I bought a new solar battery power station. I bought the um, Go, Gobel or Go something. Uh, Hobotech gave a good review on it, and I got it. It's nice. And um, Go Lab, that's what it is, Go Lab. I'll show it to you. And this floor has taken a real beating two years that we've lived in it. It's all scuffed. And this is where, this is my cargo door. This is where I load the jugs of water that I fill when I go to the spring, when I'm way up at my camp up in northern Maine. I have to go to the spring to get water. And when I slide those jugs in, they're wet. And so... All this floor, the whole floor throughout, I'm going to sand it down and refinish it. You can see back there in the corner where it's all cloudy and white. What happened was I had a small can of uh, polyurethane that I had left back there. I had forgotten it was back there. It tipped over, it spilled, and what a mess. And when I tried to scrape it off, it started pulling some of the uh, splinters of wood up from the OSB. So I'm just going to have to sand that down. I'll probably have to restain it. I used a stain on this wood. I used a, um, a Minwax. I think it's called Golden Pecan. So when I sand that down, I'm going to have to restain it over there. I might have to do the same here where it's, where it's so worn out. So there's that. Oh yeah, here's the uh, here's the new Go Lab. I just bought this, and I like it. This is gonna be this is a 300 300 watt 300 watt hour. I think is what it is. Um, I'll do a separate review on this at some point when I've had a chance to actually use it for a while. It's, uh, 100 amp hour solar battery is still working. It still works great. I still got a lot of life left in it. I'm going to try to find a way to mount that small battery here next to my bed so that when I'm lying in bed, I can control it. And then I'm going to run a light strip like, like one of these, an LED light strip. I'm going to run it from the Bowden's battery here back to where my son sleeps so he'll have a, an LED uh, light strip over his beds for, that he can use at night so that'll be good and then I'll be able to just plug in my phone off the bounds plug in uh, I bought a, a tablet an Amazon tablet and I'll just run that off here so that'll be convenient so this, and then I have to rebuild my son's area back there. Um, it needs help. <laughs> so, yeah, I tried hanging these um, nets. These, this is a, um, a laundry bag. I tried hanging those up there so that he could use them for storage and put his snacks in there and stuff like that. And they kept falling off. I got to work on something for there. And it got kind of woodwork. Got, there's something gooey on there. I don't know what that is. We got to do some cleaning. So there's still work to be done back here. And I want to rebuild this underneath. Start fresh and do it over again because I'm just not happy with it. It's just... It's just wooden planks there. 
I don't know, maybe that'll do. But what I want to do is I want to take some thin panel and fasten it to the side here, to each side here, which will create a little pocket in here where I can put things, small things. And then the same thing over there, I'm going to put um, some kind of like hardboard or maybe small piece of plywood or whatever to kind of box in a storage spot over here and then do the same thing back on that side over there. So we can use every inch of space for storage and make it more efficient, hence more comfortable. Woo! Yeah, I got the transmission working. I got the gear shifter working again. The mechanic said that, uh, well, when the, you, when the tow truck came to get it, it was stuck in park. That was after I replaced the instrument cluster, which is working great now. This is wonderful. It's great to have all my gauges working. Yeah, and I can use the power windows now. They didn't work while the instrument cluster was broken. My power windows didn't work. Um, I got the radio working. That had nothing to do with the instrument cluster, but when I took this panel out, I saw that the antenna had been disconnected. Um, and my only thinking about that is this, this van used to be a handicapped school bus. It had a, a wheelchair lift in it and it had seat, some seats in the back. And uh, it was radio dispatched. So it, having, the, having the AM FM radio there might have been a distraction for the drivers if they're driving along singing a song and something's going on in the back. They probably disconnected that so that the drivers could focus on their, on their um, passengers. That's my thinking on that. But, yeah, all I had to do is just plug that antenna back into the radio and zoom, we got radio now. So things are looking up. So, so my windows work, my gear shift works, the van is running good, it's had all that engine work done. I'm going to put some new tires on it before we hit the road again. And by the way, I'm making this announcement here today, you heard it here first. We will be moving back into the van, probably November or December. I went through a lot of money this year fixing the van up. It took a lot of money. I've probably gone through a little over $4,000 in repairs. And our savings are pretty well decimated. And I cannot save money paying rent. It's just impossible. Might be able to save a little bit, but not enough to be of any big help in case an emergency comes along. So the only way we can really save money is to move back in the van and that's what we're going to do come November or December. That gives me plenty of time, it's the middle of June, and that gives me plenty of time to get all the work done in the van, get it all fixed up and uh, nice and comfy and fully outfitted and it'll be great, it'll be great to get back on the road again and hopefully I'm going to get, um, I'm going to buy a drone. <laughs> I want to buy a drone so bad. Uh, that's another story. So there's the van build, rebuild, pre-build. <laughs> yeah, I'll give updates as I get the work done. So thanks for watching. Peace out. Marijuana. Cannabis, sativa. <laughs>